What's up guys, your boy CG and we're back here at CG Productions and it is episode 3 and I was gonna call this the rebuild but I end up turning it, changing it to the swap simply because next week's video is gonna be the rebuild just in the order that I've done things. In this video what we're gonna see is I'm gonna change the ISP boards from the Scarlet to the Epic even though the Scarlet's working just to try out um, everything that I've done see if it works i'll take you through taking it apart to the point of the isp board and uh putting it back together and we'll see what the results of that is so the difference between the epic isp board and the scarlet isp board is the ram count so on the epic there's 12 uh sticks of ram and on the scarlet there's six sticks of ram so that that's where why you can't go into 5k 30 uh, on the Scarlet is because it, it doesn't have the RAM that it needs to process that frame rate. The only reason you are able to go into 5K12, I believe it is, in steel mode, that's fine because you're trying to shoot a picture versus the motion mode where that's going to create so much drag and blur that it's not going to come out as a good image. So I hope you guys enjoy this. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys everything that I had to go through and then we'll pop in and see what the results of that is uh, and we'll get back to it. Right now, what I have on the table here is the processing board that is out of the Epic. This is one with the 12 pieces of RAM on it, whereas the Scarlet only has six of these. What I'm going to do is uh, I'm gonna heat this up because I'm, I'm feeling like there may be cold solder in it. I'm gonna heat this up to get everything to liquefy. And it's gonna give this board a good cleanse. And like I said, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna just heat this thing up. What I'm gonna try to do is do a time lapse uh, right now. So I'm gonna stop the video. I'm just gonna let this side cool down for a while. And then before I flip it over, what we gotta do right now is get in here and take this camera back apart. This has the Scarlet chip in it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take that out and I'm going to put the Epic chip in there and turn it all on. This right now is a working camera. It's scary to be taking it apart, but I gotta do what I gotta do. Here we go. continue to uh, put this thing back together. I'll pop back in once I have it all back together um, and give you guys an overview. You know, red, they don't give you, <laughs> uh, they're they not gonna give you any information on repairing this camera. Like, if you can't fix it with software, they're not, they will not give you any hardware related information. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm not actually gonna put this entirely back together, like the whole panels and the side panels and all that stuff. I'm not gonna do that. And the reason why is because if, it, if it's not working, I'm completely wasting time. That's all back together. All right, so we're gonna put this board on and this that'll be all I need for, um, all I need to get it up and running because everything else is just covers. Here we go. We got we got all the boards that we need to uh, turn this unit on inside the camera. So right now I won't be able to access any of the menu. The red lights come on. I won't be able to access any uh, menus or anything. But like I said, the sensor and the menus, all that stuff's not an issue. 
Um, right now, like I'm just hoping that it comes on at all. I'm gonna do a hard reset before I turn it on. So now we just, I don't know what's gonna happen. Yeah, I'll be just as surprised as you to as you as to what happens. The fact that it kind of went through the motions and it's going through the same motions that it did before means that the board is working. I don't know if that whole solder reflow did anything, and we're just gonna have to see. Uh, it switched to green, so we should be seeing something on the screen any minute, uh, any second now. My bad, I, I kept having a power drop out, so I had to turn the screen off. But, all right. Here we go. No signal. Let's see. know that that let me unplug it and plug it back in. No signal. Alright, so what I'm gonna do is uh Turn this off, give it a few seconds, and then I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna turn it back on. The no signal thing, uh, sometimes the camera may not put out signal, this wasn't on, like, I don't know. And it's just, uh, right now, we just gotta figure out where we're at. It may be that I've ruined the board, I don't know, man. So, um, kind of a anxious moment because I don't know exactly what's going on I don't know if you know what affected what there's a serious error detected during startup please save log and send to red support so this is the same error that I was getting from the Scarlet. It hasn't started all the way up. So I don't see the bars. It, it makes me kind of joyous, but then it also puts me in the, to the point to where I don't know what's going on. So I gotta, like now it's gonna take a lot of time to figure out what's going on. But uh, I'm getting phone calls right now, so let me call you guys back. I mean, let me uh, <laughs> catch you guys in the next video. I'll be back. So when I turned this on, I didn't have the side handle uh, attached before. It, it, it seems software related, so you hit this, and then it gives you this error code right here, and the only option is to shut it down. But the the fact that it's, it's actually, um, able to throw an error code makes me feel pretty good about the fact that it's still able to compute and say hey this is what's wrong with me fix me please <laughs> so uh so i'm just gonna shut it down <clears throat> i'm gonna take the the epic card back out i could go through and start changing cards but uh it that's just i don't want to this works with the the scarlet it doesn't work with the epic card so what i'm going to do is disassemble this and try to and and see if i get anything different um by actually rebuilding um the other 
camera which is completely disassembled right now and which is going to be cool because i'll be able to take you guys through that process uh it takes me about 30 minutes uh to put together a camera but this is actually taken apart pretty extensively uh, I guess it's not that bad So I'll say 30-45 minutes to do this uh, I'll probably slow up a lot of the stuff Except when I'm talking um, Or I don't know Like I, I'm, I'm not sure How long people want to watch me put this together But I'm going to try to do my best And like just have everything uh, And make it short I'm, I'm kind of long when it when I talk I guess like as in right now But yeah what I'm going to do now is I'm gonna uh, take this camera apart and I'm gonna throw the scarlet chip back into it and then I'm gonna put it back together turn it on make sure it's still working no issues with that and then uh, from that point uh, we're gonna go into building rebuilding the epic in the scarlet shell which is kind of backwards but it'll have the scar it'll have the epic sensor um, but it will have the scarlet IO unit so it'll be exact opposite of this camera right here um so let me go ahead and get all these things put back together and then we'll uh we'll come back all right so i wanted to uh just before i threw these back in i want to show you this this is the difference between these two boards um, this is the scarlet board and this is the epic board let me get this more in front of the camera here Throw a little I'm doing so much stuff on the fly man I, I just need I need better lighting um, but whatever but uh, yeah this is the you see how the scarlet they have the same amount of uh actual uh processors but they have a uh, different ram um the epic has 12 sticks and the scarlet has six sticks per um per processor well or two per processor on this one and four per processor on that one but that's really the only big difference that i seen on i can see from these boards the back is pretty much identical um as well um there's like certain things that are different that i just couldn't even really show you because the circuit boards are so small but very very tiny differences um <clears throat> all right let's get this guy seated back in and we'll go through another little time lapse situation alrighty so that's done and let me All right, so <laughs> we had a pretty big scare there for a second. But um, so what I did with the other one was I uh, I actually reset, did a hard reset before I started it up. But I didn't do that um, when I put this back in, even though I had a different unit in it. So that was the issue is that I didn't start, I didn't put a, a hard reset it when I um, started it back up so it just needed a hard reset now it's back but it's, it's crazy how like things can go from uh, basically everything's good to everything's bad uh, in no time so the plan is now put the other shell back together with the uh, epic and see if we can get that thing to working 
but I don't want to do any more with this because as you see like it works it just did not like uh, I'm sure that the the epic board sent some information to uh, some of the boards inside and it kind of it conflicted with it so it just needed a hard reset and now it's good to go so, all right what's up guys so I hope you guys enjoyed that uh, wh who I have here to my left is uh, red from evolve visuals and um, so he's helped me out a tremendous amount uh, on especially getting doing some further troubleshooting on the epic and uh, so we'll show that next week on basically the results of what happened at that point uh could be a surprise could be not we'll see um but if you, you want to tell him how about your channel uh what you have on there because i've seen some some of his tutorials and they're pretty good so yeah man, my, my channel just focuses really on the, the cinematography side and then and the post-production side so i'm gonna have a lot of tutorials for that coming up a lot of lighting stuff a lot of visual effects stuff a lot of color grading all right so Tune in next week, week four. That's going to be the rebuild. That's where I'm going to take you from the bare bones of the fan duct all the way up into a finished red camera. And we'll see if it works at the end. All right. See you guys. It's your boy CG, and I'm out.